Frog reminding you to watch The Muppet Show, this week featuring the incredible Mr. Bruce Forsyth. Great family entertainment on The Muppet Show. Will you cut that out? Uh, nice, nice, nice job, nice job. Uh, yeah, I will, okay. Uh, take it easy, animal. Hi, uh, Kermit. Hey, Kermit. Scooter. Scooter, Scooter, what is this? Oh, uh, that's a crate. I can see it's a crate, uh, but who's responsible for it? Oh, I am. Scooter, what makes you think you can bring a crate into the backstage? Uh, my uncle owns the theater. And a nice crate it is, too. <laughs> May I ask you, what is in it? Sure, go ahead. What is in it? Oh, well, it's a mechanical wind-up TV show host. A mechanical wind-up TV show host. Right. Scooter, that is the dumbest, the craziest, most ridiculous idea you have ever... Ah! <laughs> Scooter, you're out of your mind. Careful, Frog, his uncle owns the theater. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. 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 This week featuring the incredible Miss Candace Bergen. <laughs> Great family entertainment on the Muppet Show. <laughs> well, I, I think I'll go stretch my legs. <laughs> I'd do it for you. <laughs> Time soon for the handsome frog here to make another one of his introductions. I will check myself and see how I look in the mirror. ridiculous wind-up TV show host. I was a gift from his uncle. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Watch the Muppet Show. Start your night with a bang. <laughs> hey, Fozzie, can you get that? I, I get it, Kermit. Hello, the Muppet Show backstage. <laughs> Who was it? The water department. <laughs> Hey, Fozzie, can you get that, please? Yeah, come on. I get it. <sighs> <clears throat> Hello, backstage, the Muppet Show. <laughs> Fozzie, hmm? who was it? <coughs> the fire department. <laughs> I think this is what they call a running gag. I got it. Uh... <clears throat> The Muppet Show backstage. Fozzie, who was that? Las Vegas. <laughs> the Muppet Show backstage. Okay, who was it this time? The Atomic Energy Commission. Don't answer that phone, Fozzie. I got it. No, Fozzie, do I... not answer that telephone. Oh, but Kermit, all these terrific, funny things happen when I do answer it. I'm Come aware on. of that. Up? I'm aware of that, Fozzie. Is there no end to this running gag? Uh, whoa. 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 <laughs> well, I guess that puts an end to this running gag. Yeah, and also to all the incoming calls. And today I'm interviewing a most unfortunate creature, the Kuzbanian food. Thank you, thank you. I'm pleased to be here. As a matter of fact, I'm pleased to be anywhere. I, I can believe that because, you see, folks, the foob is known as the most delicious creature on Kuzbane. That's true. We have a saying on this world. I never met a foob I didn't like, especially with mushroom gravy. I, I suppose this tends to hold down the foob population pretty effectively? Not really. Actually, my species is flourishing. Really? Well, how do you manage that? Evolution. I don't think I understand. We foobs tend to evolve rather faster than most creatures. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you evolve into? Oh, you know, whatever's handy. I, I beg your pardon? We try to blend in with the crowd as best we can. Say, are, are you changing? Evolving. Evolving is the accurate term. Yeah, but, but you're, you're starting to look familiar. I should certainly hope so. This, this is very weird. For grief. 
Even your clothes are the same. It's called the survival of the trench coated. <laughs> but you can't do this. Oh, this is Kermit the Frog returning you to. I'm Kermit the Frog! Cram! Cram! <laughs> uh, these are Kermit the Frogs returning you to the Muppet Show. You can't do that. You stop when you. I'm the real Kermit, folks. <laughs> Wonderful. Very funny, eh, Walter? <laughs> Hey, I wonder where he went. He was here a minute ago watching the food and falling down laughing. I'm still falling, but I've stopped laughing. <laughs> uh, Mr. Statler, there aren't too many people on this show I'd like to talk to. This is Timothy Frog speaking to you from the planet Coosbane. There's a hush in the air. This is the traditional time of courtship of the Coosbanian creatures. We're waiting now for the male Kuzbanian creature to make the first move. <laughs> Hark, that may be him now. <laughs> now that is the wonk wonk signal to the female creature. Let's see if she makes the traditional response. Yeah, that is the traditional response to the wonk wonk. Ah, <laughs> oh, there she is, and what a beauty. Now the tender ritual begins. Watch as the male makes the first overture to the female, known as the hargi. I believe she likes him. Hey! 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 <laughs> oh boy, did you see that? That was the signal. They're going to do the Galio hoop hoop. Oh, this should be very exciting. It's a television first, ladies and gentlemen, the Kuzbanian Galio hoop hoop. Watch closely now. They're going far away. He's just about to make his turn now. Hey, you! Mark Ruby! Me, Mark Ruby! Oh, yo! Wow! This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the Galio Hoop Hoop. Once again, love comes to Coosbane. When I say this to you, when I say, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. 